Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Saturday, March 12th, 2022. It is 2.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States and routes to New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm sticking to my daily schedule, which helps control my emotions, my delusions, my hallucinations, my paranoia, my depression, and my anxiety and helps me deal with my physical pain. Um, my hallucinations are not that bad today. Um, they're there, but they're just at baseline. My paranoia today is, is not as bad as it was yesterday and a few days before that. Um, my hallucinations are just auditory hallucinations. I don't have visual hallucinations. Um, when I get paranoid, I often think people are breaking into my apartment when I'm not home and rearranging stuff. When I'm delusional, I think people are following me or spying on me, which has been the feeling over the past week or so. I have no evidence that people are spying on me or following me. Um, my delusions tend to flare up and decrease as time goes on. I just saw my psychiatrist day before yesterday. We agreed not to raise any of my medications, especially the Zyprexa, um, because of my delusions and my paranoia. I have coping skills that I learned in group therapy to deal with my delusions and hallucinations. It's called DBT therapy. It's a form of psychotherapy in group form that teaches you how to deal with severe distress and severely stressful situations and severe psychiatric symptoms. I've been able to avoid going to the psychiatric emergency room since I started group therapy and individual therapy with the psychotherapist instead of just seeing a psychiatrist which I had been doing for four or five years. Um, now I'm in group therapy and in individual psychotherapy is well, seeing the psychiatrist, like I said, when I saw the psychiatrist day before yesterday, we didn't change any of my medications. I reported how I was doing on Cymbalta, also known as Duloxetine, that I'm taking for physical nerve pain, muscle pain, joint pain, muscular skeletal pain, arthritis pain. Um, most of my physical pain has been reduced, including the severe pain in my right knee but we're still planning to do an MRI on my right knee on the 24th of March because there may be some cartilage or tendon damage that would show up in an x-ray. Um, Cymbalta, by the way, is an antidepressant and may be helping with my anxiety, my insomnia, and my depression, as well as the physical pain. Um, I don't have an official diagnosis for what's causing my physical pain other than arthritis in my back, my hip, and some of my joints. Um, it could be fibromyalgia, it might not be, but whatever was causing all the physical pain, especially the nerve pain throughout my body, Cymbalta has greatly reduced the physical pain or the, sens the sensation of physical pain, like somebody was throwing gasoline on my skin and setting me on fire. That's how bad the pain was. And some both it seems to have brought that under control. And like I said, because it is an antidepressant, it might be helping with my depression and anxiety as well. Um, we agreed, me and my psychiatrist, that we would continue giving me clonopin for anxiety. I take half a milligram twice a day. Um, I'm not required to take the clonopin. It's supposed to be as needed, but I've been taking the maximum dosage every single day for the past few months. Um, so I can't stop it suddenly. Even if we did stop it, we would have to do it gradually. But we decided not to stop it, and we didn't discuss an end date for the clonopin. So for now, I'll be taking the clonopin indefinitely. Um, haven't gone outside today. Don't have any errands that I have to run. Don't have any uh, things that I have to buy at the store, any prescriptions to pick up. Um, 
it's not that bad outside it's raining a little bit it's still winter in, in March and here in uh, Rochester New York we're in the northern United States it can get pretty cold sometimes it's unusually warm for March um, but overall the weather's been pretty good over the past week um, I did my physical therapy exercises today which is for the physical pain that I experienced my joints and my muscles and my nerves um, I'm seeing my physical therapist on Monday possibly for the last time they already showed me what most of the exercises that I have to do daily and I have been doing them daily and on top of that I do an hour every day on my exercise bike that's part of my daily schedule staying physical and healthy is important for psychiatric symptoms um, as well as physical symptoms and physical health um, I noticed that since I started exercising I sleep better I have less anxiety and less depression um, so that's all the report for now